listen to me, bitch. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. On to the next part. The next part is adding these things. And they to be added on the uh, the second ones. Okay, it's these things. So that looks about right. So how do you get these on here? Well, I'll tell you how. You actually screw one of these in there. Which means it's going to take a moment. I think this is how you do it. See, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm going by field here. Okay, again, let's turn it over. It's kind of like even with the battery box. So I should be able to just reach through here and just maybe if I get it right. Just want to get it started. Okay, there we go. One. the rest right there okay session a little better different kind of way this time. Um, is it on? Oh, no. I believe that it 
videos. Okay. So just tighten it up. Okay. So you really, I guess you may not need that screw because you could really just tighten it up real good. Let's see. might not need it because if you do put it in there it's gonna have to come out and you wind up untying it again so yeah I won't use that screw that's kind of messing up what I did already saying about the other part no you don't want to do that because I'm going to wind up having to use some pliers to hold it while I unscrew it so that it don't unscrew for the nut from the nut so yeah you don't want to actually use the screw and it's proving harder That's not a good idea to do. Maybe if I look up, it just let me unscrew it. Okay, there we go. So I won't use that option no more because it doesn't work right. Okay, so we just need to get these tied, this one tied up, and then we can go and do the other two. So just use the way we've been doing it, and that ties it up pretty nicely. Like I said, because you may be taking it back apart, you don't want to really tighten it up too good at this point. So, let's try to get these other ones on kind of quickly. So step eight. So, we have these things. Now, it's time to put on the motors. And the wiring is going to be going back. You want the square part to be facing the outside. And you want the part that turns. You want that to be right here on the circle part. Then you're going to have a little notch there that fits through this hole in the middle. And then you're going to have this little piece and that's right there. So that's how it fits. You want the terminal post. The terminals is the parts with the solder and the wire coming out. You want that to face the inside. So you want to face it inwards. You're going to take these screws here. And you're going to just line it up with the holes that are there on the motor. Okay, you're going to have to, and as you can see, they fit pretty good. Okay. And then again, we have to get some not so long, so which that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got the first one on, 
and let's cinch that down. Okay. And I'm gonna flip it around and put the nut on the second one. Got the second one on. Gonna cinch it down. Okay, cinch it down. Which way are we cinching it? Ain't the one that said to do it. Okay, there we go. So again, a little bit tight. Okay. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? So let's go ahead and do the other one. Okay. And again, the terminals is fitting on the inside. The white part is on the circle right there, and then we're going to insert the screws. Okay, there's nothing hard about this part at all, really, not even getting the nuts on. Okay, so I might have spoke too soon, huh? So again, it's situated on top of the screw. This one. Let's get this one on. Okay, and now we go for the second one. This one a little bit more tiny. Let's go ahead and use our socket to tighten it down a little bit more. That, that the reason why it's not really tightening is because it's spinning off here, so I'm just using the screwdriver again. Okay, and then here. That's how we got it right here. Okay, so the modest one here for targets, the rest, and thank goodness, step. Hi, I'm Ebony Geek, and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.